everyone. Today I wanted to do a review on uh, Sennelier and Schmenka watercolors and um, I don't know much about the companies. I've read a little bit about Schmenka. Uh, Sennelier is just French watercolors. Um, these are half, uh, this is a half pan set. This is the Ordam Aquarels and uh, these are German watercolors. Uh, half pans to just show you what a half pan is this is a half pan and this is a full pan so there's a considerable difference this is obviously twice as much in a full pan and uh, but if you want to have lots of colors and not have to pay a lot of money this is definitely the way to go however these two these two brands are very expensive this cost me about two hundred and forty dollars two hundred and thirty dollars in amazon this cost me uh three hundred dollars and it doesn't have 48 colors so uh the first thing i want to do is just open the boxes at the same time and um i apologize for the sniffles i have really bad allergies right now so as you can see the packaging is almost identical and um, so it has a ring at the bottom and there, for those of you who don't know what the ring is for it's really for you to stick your finger underneath it and use this as a palette uh, this is Sennelier again and this is how it comes Sennelier comes with a brush Uh, let's see if I can get it out maybe I can't so this comes out okay so this is a number three I don't know if you can see it there it is it's a number three and it comes with um, a color chart I thought when when I got these that they would come like these oh like individually wrapped but I guess not so that's kind of good. So that's Sennelier. Let me just put this aside. And uh, obviously this has the same ring. Um, I guess you have to register your thingy. Huh. Okay, so this, um, whenever you get a palette, you always want to make your own little color chart. So you know... Like if you run out of a particular color or if you have them in a particular sequence, uh, you know exactly what you need to buy. Now, because I bought extra ones for this one, uh, I'm sorry, this one didn't cost me $300. This, this cost $300 if it has 48 colors. Um, I didn't pay, I paid 260 probably, uh, if, because I, it didn't have the bottom row. So I've been basically buying the bottom row little by little. Um, I was being a cheapskate so whenever you get a palette the first thing you want to do is obviously do your your color chart so you, you get familiar with your colors and how they um, how they're pigmented I really I haven't tried them I plan on doing a second video on how they look so um, I'll do a little video later on and show you how awesome these are or whether they're not awesome. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. I recently got to use the Schwinka watercolors and they produce beautiful illustrations. I am very happy with that particular set, but there are some serious differences between the two. One thing that I should point out is that these are not for students or for children. These are very toxic uh, watercolors, so do not give them to children. They contain chemicals and heavy metals that may cause cancer. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the color charts. The top one is Ordem, uh, the Schmenka, and the bottom one is Sennelier. As you can see, the ore then produces beautiful reds and blues, but when it gets down to the earthier colors, it's a little washed out. 
The Sennelier is just much better and it produces nice and vibrant color.